Mobix Labs is a fabulous radio frequency semiconductor company focused on developing the building blocks necessary for simplifying the design of next generation 5G wireless products. With me is the CEO, Fabian Battaglia, to explain um, 5G and how you fit into kind of this new mobile tech world that uh, is really right in front of us. So you're focused on 5G millimeter wave wireless market? Am I saying, am I getting all that right? Okay, and then explain yeah. what that means. Sure, well, well, well good morning, Jane. Um, 5G, I guess we need some definitions. You know, 5G as we know it today and you see it on your mobile device um, and we obviously we see it advertised quite a bit. Um, that's really only incrementally better than 4G LTE that we've experienced already. Uh, in the millimeter wave space, it's a much higher frequency. So to give you an idea, um, sub six gig is what's popular today for 5G. In millimeter wave space, we're talking about frequencies in the order of 24 to 44 gig. Okay. Much faster. So now I have a new iPhone after I kept my other one for years and years and years, and it's a 5G enabled iPhone. Would I work with your company or are you in a different area? Yeah, you, you would. Our devices would be applicable for a mobile device like your, your iPhone, but we're targeting specifically the infrastructure market and the infrastructure market enables, um, enables you to transmit and receive data at those higher frequencies. And that's where we play. Okay, so you're kind of more the infrastructure kind of rather than what because consumers will be able to operate things faster and see a smoother process because of you. Right. Okay. We'll enable that. Yes. Okay. So, and we talked about it a little bit. Could, could you go into depth? How would this impact the average consumer? Well, it, it, 5G and in the millimeter wave space will be um, very pervasive as far as an impact to humanity on um, everything that we do from the way we learn, the way we communicate, um, telemedicine, uh, all the things that we do today will improve. And there will also be more applications that will be enabled as we're able to transmit data faster and, and use cases and applications we can't even think of today. If you think back when we went 1G, 2G, 3G, and all the advances we made in those generations, 5G is taking us to the next level and, and then beyond. Now, yeah, if somebody would have told me we'd have self-driving cars, you know, <laughs> I would have been like, what? How does that work? But that's part of what you're doing in smart cities and kind of that uh, part of the future that we read about. It, exactly, exactly. So those those are, well, self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles is an interesting use case. Now, in urban environments, it's going to be really challenging um, to, to make it fully autonomous. But what's going to be required is, is more data, faster data, more throughput. And so what 5G brings is the ability to make that um, a reality. Mm -hmm. Now, since you brought up data, explain how Mobix fits into the whole data universe. Okay. So if you think of a, a radio in, in the way we transmit information wirelessly, it's an electromagnetic wave. And you have radios, and these radios have both processors, and they have to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, they have to be able to convert these electromagnetic waves into something that a microprocessor can understand, and vice versa for transmit and receive. So what we do is we we are a companion device to that microprocessor that allows these electromagnetic waves to be received and transmitted in a way that that can be done reliably and at these higher frequencies, which as the higher you go in frequency, it becomes much more challenging to be able to process these signals. Hmm. So our processors are very capable, right? They're very, they're very powerful, they're, they're very fast. The limiting feature in many of these applications is gonna be what's outside the processor to convert these signals in a way that they can be transmitted and received. So that's where we sit in, in outside of the process or companion device to the process. So you enable the data, but don't store it or use any data for your own purposes. No, no. So there's, there's no memory element or memory component to our solution. We, 
We simply enable that process. Okay. Now you just uh, recently secured a $10 million round of funding. So tell me about that and what will you use that for? Sure. Yeah, no, we're very excited at uh, how well our message was received to the, the investors that um, we were able to secure. So primarily, I mean, at the core, we are a innovation company. So we, we um, focus very heavily on the R&D part of it. Uh, we innovate. So a majority of that is going to go into R&D. And now as we're starting to transition to, we'll, we'll have some announcements here shortly on product introductions, then we're also going to be adding the resources that can sit with our customers and help them solve their solutions with our solutions. Mm -hmm. So we'll have, um, to answer your question, it'll be a combination of, of R&D, um, and that R&D will go to bringing what we have already architected into production and also to develop next generation solutions, but then adding the resources that would sit with customers that would, um, they're called field applications engineers in our industry. And, and those are the uh, people and the resources that work directly with customers. Okay. Now, what do you see uh, for Mobix Labs in the future? Listing on a stock exchange overseas? I mean, what's your, what are your goals? <laughs> well, um, right now, again, we're focused on innovation. Um, we will, uh, we have, when, when we get to the point where we need that additional capitalization, we have all options on the table. We haven't eliminated any option, including a potential IPO. Um, but uh, right now, again, we, we're going to deploy the, uh, the resources in, in R&D and bringing the message to the customer and supporting our customers. But a potential IPO down the road is a possibility. Okay. Now, before we close, I just want your thoughts on like how we'll live. And we talked a little bit about autonomous cars and uh, smart cities. I mean, where do you see this going as a society and how will my children live in, say, 20 yeah. years? Well, that, that's an interesting question, you know, how your children will, will live. I mean, could, could you have imagined uh, what we have today, even just 20 years ago, and the way we worked and the way we lived and entertained? And um, so I, I, I think the future is going to be really exciting uh, in, in the way that um, these higher speeds and this new technology is, is coming to uh, being real. Um, things like telemedicine and AR and uh, VR. Um, I just recently spoke to a friend that's working with the children's hospitals that are working with burn victims. And you talk about the VR AR applications that they're using so that these burn victims are, are stretching. And that, that type of application I think is gonna be fantastic. I think uh, the way we communicate here in the COVID area, the era that we're in right now, where, well, the way you and I are communicating, you know, via uh, Zoom or, or whatever it, it might be, um, think of uh, holographic type applications. So um, not only would that be in the work environment, but even in the entertainment space, uh, imagine inserting yourself in the middle of a football game, <laughs> right? So I, I think that... Um, I think that uh, your children and it, they're they're going to be the beneficiaries of this great technology that's being developed now. But I think it will impact every aspects of our life. So, like we're talking about the way you live, the way you, the way you communicate, uh, the way you learn, uh, the way we take care of ourselves, both uh, medically and emotionally. I think that there will all be, uh, it'll be a positive in all of those areas. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much, Fabian, for coming and talking to us about Mobix Labs. And please come and update us as you release the product and other things. So.